Ooh, oh my gosh! I can't believe I held that for 24 hours! That was way, way too long! But anyway, everyone, welcome back! We're going back to finding some bodies! Woo! Really gotta catch my breath after that, you know? It's not very often you just get to hold one little note for a little 24 hours and it's like, Oh, shoot! Now I gotta start another episode before it's too late! Oh! Well, anyway, ooh, ooh, uh, let's do this! I mean, wouldn't the body have gone all goopy after 18 years? That's exactly what I was—I was saying. Not maybe not goopy, but decayed. You know? I don't know if I would call it goopy. I wouldn't call it. Yeah, I certainly wouldn't either. Certainly would have required a special method to preserve the body. Yeah, I wonder if such a method even exists. Hey, Mr. Forensics guy, any new information? Yes. Normality and Fatalium have been detected in the fountain water. They must have flowed through the stream from the Autumn Palace to the fountain. Aside from the chemicals, we also found high levels of sugar. We're working hard at investigating it. Sugar in the fountain water? What could have caused that? Mm, probably some chocolate falling in being like, whoa, chocolate? This is Edgeworth. It's gumshoe, sir! Hi, Gumshoe, what's up? I, where'd you even go? I kind of forgot where you even went. Did something happen? Actually, right now, all the investigations, investigators but me have left the Winter Palace. So I can finally tell you what we found. It's not good for a detective to be leaking out information about the investigation. But... His resourcefulness has saved me many times these past few days. All the sculptures in the Winter Palace have melted! There's still some liquid left in the cases, but... There's less in the Gemini case than in the Taurus case. There's still liquid in the glass cases? Yes, sir! We just investigated the light blue liquid a moment ago. We only detected sugar in the Taurus case, but... For some reason in the Gemini case we detected three different substances. Three substances. They consisted of sugar, salt, and blood. What? I don't get it. Blood? Blood and salt were detected in the Gemini case. I wonder whose blood it could have been. I've asked forensics to look into it, sir. Right. I leave it to you, detective. That reminds me, the forensics investigating the fountain patio contacted me. It seems the sugar found in the fountain matches that found in the light blue liquid. Oh, that sounds like valuable information. Liquid analysis results jotted down in my organizer. Analysis results of the liquid from the melted Gemini sculpture. Touch the check button for details. Is that all the new information you have for me? Ah, now that you mention it, we found a rainbow light device in there too. The device was used to disguise the Autumn Palace. It seems a device that was used the I uh, excuse me. The device used that the device that was used in the I7 incident is also connected to this one. I should listen to what the Lisi has to say about that. I have to go back to investigating now, sir. When we get the results of the blood test, I'll let you know right away. Yes, thank you, detective. Was that gummy calling? That sure was a long call. Hmm. But thanks to him, we now have an important piece of information. Question mark? In, other, in order to break Miss Hall's alibi, I'll need to talk to everyone involved in the IS-7 incident. Hmm. I suppose you do, huh? Yeah, what's up? Uh, here, tell me about liquid analysis results. I don't have any information on liquid analysis results. You literally just got those, and I didn't see or hear anything. Okay, what about what about you, Miss Hall? What do you have to say about this? Probably nothing, if I had to take a guess. I don't know! Well, ain't that just great? Maybe you should know a little bit more. What about you, Ray? What do you know about this? Oh gosh, he has something to say. Well, I don't want to talk to him right now, or do I? Yeah, I do. Of course I do. 
Haha, <laughs> this is eh, the so-called key to the case. I can't believe it, Miles boy. You've actually found the key to the case. It's very nice, isn't it? Mr. Shields, can you tell me what kind of person Miss Hall is? Hmm. Miles, don't tell me. You're also interested in Katie. No. Well, all joking aside, all Uncle Ray can say is... The Kate I know is a truly admirable woman. For 18 years, she has always wanted to remain here and wait for Master's return. However, she was driven out of the ma of the mansion by Master's relatives. What? She was driven out of the mansion? That's because Kate isn't related to by blood to Mr. Master. With no family in her job taken from her, she could only live on with the song and dance that Mr. Master daughter. She's now retired as a world-famous actress, though. Why did she retire? But she had already saved up enough money to buy this mansion. Seems she even got back the angel's recipe that had been taken by the master group. What Kate did, Kate got to back the mansion and the angel's recipe for Mr. Master's sake. This mansion where she lived with Mr. Master had been everything to her. She probably just wanted to... Take back everything that she lost. It seems like Mr. Shields sympathized with Miss Hall. But you could also you could also say that her actions have been taken away have taken away everything Mr. Master had. I suppose you could say that anyway. Oh yeah, it was logic, not not evidence. Oh. Hmm. All right. Okay. I'll connect what Kate did with what Kate did, and that should be good. I would hope. Let's see. Why? Well, no, he's not involved with IS7, but I should be able to present that one thing to him anyway. Because reasons. Hmm. Oh no. Edgy. Why you show me these things? Have mercy on me. So okay, I got you. I got you. Oh my gosh. At least Gumshoe didn't call again. That would have been funny. It's like whoa, 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 whoa now. Uh, the best, what's up? Oh, they're all just gonna say the same thing they did before. Alright, so they wanna talk to Delicia then. Delicia, would you be willing to aid in the investigation? Yes, she, of course! Paying for Miley and Kayfe! <laughs> Kayfe? Oh, listen to whatever you have to say! I was wondering if you could stop calling me Miley. Stop calling me Kayfei. What? I thought she would have actually liked that, but alright. Fee, that's not the question. I can't change me before I'm decided on. Ugh, excuse me. Ugh, even if we ask her, she won't listen to what we have to say at all. Well, that's just what happens. So excuse me then. I have to present literally everything to her now, don't I? Oh gosh, here we go! Oh, didn't Craig have a different badge? Yes, my father was a defense attorney, and I chose a different path for, than my father. Oh, I see, the rush how it is! You can't be out friends when you're at that age! When you get a bit bigger, I'm sure you understand your father loved you! Dot, 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 dot. Because everyone goes to the rebellious phase, there's no reason to be ashamed about it! What? I didn't become a prosecutor because I was in a rebellious phase. Or did you, Miles? Don't lie, don't lie. I mean, why else would you take Manfred Von Karma as your mentor? I mean, it doesn't make any sense otherwise, would it? <laughs> Boy, the last thing you've got through is rather cute, Miley. The color's rather unappealing. Now, if I were to coat it with fresh cream... Stop it! But I don't want to stop it. The cream makes everything better, you know. Mm. Oh, okay, okay. So she's probably not gonna have too much to say about anything. Well, maybe this, but I mean, I can't imagine a lot is gonna be said about anything, really. I knew it. This cloth is made from some pretty expensive materials. It's hard to come by, you know. The technology is amazing. How is it made? Yes, see, if you're interested, I'll share my secret information with you. 
Mm-hmm. So it was developed by Blue Screens Inc., huh? I've got to steal that tech. I am to be the shining star in the world of thieves. Could you please let me talk to her as well? Yes, sir, you can talk as well, I suppose. Okay. Oh my gosh, you say the color is unappealing? That means you don't like the sketch? How could you? It's true, I know how to make I know how to make the poison dash. But even if you know how to fire a gun, it doesn't mean you actually shot one, right? I haven't actually decided that you're the criminal yet, though. I may be a great thief, but it doesn't mean I would commit evil deeds. And I may be a pastry chef, but that doesn't mean I can make desserts. That's because you're a fake pastry chef. Well, yeah, I guess so, anyway. You've also read the angel's recipe, right? Well, of course! I may look like this, but I'm an ice pharmacist! That's amazing, an ace pharmacist. That's been my long-felt dream. Really? Well, that's right, that's right. At least Kate Fanny This is the first I've heard about her being interested in pharma pharmacology, though. Shh. A little flattery can go a long way when you're stealing or trying to get information. Well then, Miss Delicious, that's something I would like to ask of you. Why are you calling her Miss Delicious as well? Hey, you no know, can do. I just can't just change names. I've already decided on what. A great thief of all people to have their thoughts stolen like this. Looks like it didn't get you very far. Well, that's how it is apparently. So yeah. Can you do it or can you not do it? <laughs> I'm surprised you can make a lamp out of rock salt. Yeah, she is weak against water, but is strong against fire. It's pretty sturdy, you know. Was that a... Was that a Pokemon reference or something? I mean, like... Hmm. I don't get it. So sturdy can use a murder weapon. Yes, that's right, isn't it? The reason the rock salt lamp was broken was because it was used as the murder weapon. But then I wonder why the other rock salt lamp was also broken. Because reasons, of course. Boy, that family looks amazing. What? You want to see a picture of my family? My family's great. Oh, they never expected that to happen, now did they? This sketch is the one called Sketch of Beauties. That's what the one who drew it called it. Although it seems you were excluded from it. Was well, that boy perhaps worried? Should I look chat with him one on one later? Hmm. It would be my pleasure to introduce you. Mr. Edgeworth, you're making an awfully evil face right now. Oh, jeez, I wonder why. Yeah, she, that's Katie's chocolate, right? Lazy felt a bit, though. Not even them when they look at the best route to chocolate, Miley. No. They had already melted when I got them. Maybe Miley's hands got hotter when he received sweets from a sweetie. Okay, I beg of you, please don't steal her manner of speech. Why not just call her Kayfay so she'll regret what she just said? Boy, that thing you've got to do is rather cute, Miley. If only I could come up with such a great analysis. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. What I meant to do was talk about decorations, of course. Do you know anything about the decorations that are used in the museum? Specifically, the fluorescent cloths and a special device called a rainbow light device. Yes, yeah, of course I do! Because there are presents that I gave for Katie. It's an apology for breaking the rules 18 years ago. I gave her four new rock shawl lamps and four of the rest of the lots are used in the contest. Wow, that sounds nice. Fluorescent claws and rock salt lamps. <laughs> Seems like only us girls can understand how wonderful they are. That's a cruel thing to say, Miss Delicious. I like them too, you know. Fee! That was back when Ray Ray was still a cute little boy. Back when Mr. Shields was a cute little boy, hmm. I can't even imagine it. 
Are they the same decorations that you saw 18 years ago? Probably. The rock salt lamp, the cloth, and the rainbow light device, they all seem the same. Four fluorescent cloths were used in the Autumn Palace. But I have the feeling I saw one more of the same cloth. That's true, look, I've got the proof right here in my bag! What is she searching for? Not the Not this! Not this either! Hmm. I remember seeing cloth like that recently. Let's show Delicia and have her confirm my suspicions. Oh, fine, I'll show it later. Jeez. Set out poison traps and stuff like that. I'd like to ask you something since you're a pharmacist. Exactly how would one gain the knowledge required to set off poison gas? Uh, excuse me. Well, that's basic knowledge for any pharmacist acquainted with megatoxinics. Even says it's a warning label danger, do not mix with more malium. Then, is there another way for someone who isn't a pharmacist to obtain the information? Hmm, well... It might be possible if they've seen the angel's recipe. The recipe book that was the grand prize of the contest 18 years ago. This also contains a recipe to prepare Megatox snacks. Contained in the book, the angel's recipe also contains the method to prepare the poison gas. Why, though? Why would it contain that method? That's kind of weird, but okay then. Does this mean that you've also seen the contents of the angel's recipe? Yeah, yeah she, that's a given, of course. The pharmaceutical company I work for is the Master Group. There's a company that makes the Cold Killer X medicine. Cold Killer X, oh my gosh. The cold medicine that promises to kill cold's good. After Jeff, he got declared guilty, the company took back the recipe book. However, only, only a small group of elite pharmacists have been allowed to see it, though. So this woman is also a part of that small group of elite pharmacists. Go figure, right? Go figure. Alright, alright, I'll present this again. <laughs> Wait, what? What am I supposed to present, though? Uh... Uh... This? Oh, bloody heck, I have no idea anymore. Oh. Wasn't there a dirty rag in your bag that looks similar to this? Free? Well, I'm not going to give anyone any... Give any information to someone who calls it a dirty rag! Then, would it be better if I called it a washcloth? Free! Wrong again, it's a fluorescent cloth! Ah, oh, whoopsie! That was supposed to be a secret! Please tell me all you know about this fluorescent cloth. Hmm... Finally, she's gonna say it! Please tell me the reason why you hid this cloth. Oh, I guess I have no choice since that cat's out of the bag! Fountain's cloth floating in my own fountain! Right after that, I was called the Autumn Palace! So that's the moment Larry captured in the so called Sketch of Beauties. At first, I thought one of the fluorescent cloths I'd given Katie was washed away! But didn't you only give your four fluorescent cloths as a present to this museum? There were four fluorescent cloths covering the sculptures in the Autumn Palace, right? So well, that's when I realized that this was a cloth that went missing 18 years ago. Ugh. The poison gas broke out because someone stole my Megatoxin X. So I thought the fluorescent cloth had also been used in the crime for the crime. I was afraid to be said I'd be suspected, so I didn't say anything about it to anyone. I see. I sure feel a lot better after talking about it. Stress isn't good for your figure, after all. That's probably true, anyway. Probably. Most certainly. 18 years ago, the cloth that was wrapped around the body went missing. Or did it? Who would have thought it would turn up in the fountain along with the body? Fluorescent cloth data updated my organizer, given the Kate by Delicia. The cloth that vanished 18 years ago was found floating in the fountain. Hmm... 
Well, can I present the new fluorescent cloth? Nope. Apparently not. Well, alright, moving on then. What am I going to do now? What am I going to do now? I'm going to present this to you? That's all i got to present, right? It's just that. So, I mean, okay. I'm going to keep it at least as the cloth. I mean, I'm probably presenting it to Kate more than likely. That indeed seemed to be the correct answer to what I'm looking for right there. Alright, alright. First of all, Kate, you have the investigation, apparently, so... I suppose I'll talk to you about the investigation. Sure found out a lot about this, both this case and the I-7 incident as well. I wonder about that. The truth still seems to be wrapped in a deep, thick mist. Don't we have what we need to clear up that mist? Because if we don't, I can take a little thief out for another spin. No, it's fine. We've already gathered all the information we need. If I just use logic and match with all the pieces of the mist should clear up, and we will see the truth. Oh, I understand. Well then, do your thing. I can't wait to do my thing. That's gonna be so good. Hmm. Well, we'll see what the logic will entirely. First, let's show this to Mr. Raymond Shields. And he doesn't care. Now I'm gonna show it to you, Kate. You tell me what you think about this evidence that I just gathered. Oh no, that's unfortunate. All right, logic time. What Kate did, Kate got back in the mansion. The angel recipe for Mr. Master's sake. The angel recipe also contains a method of prayer, poison, gas. Oh shoot! It has been done. The method used to set off the poison gas is explained in the angel's recipe. And the current owner of the angel's recipe is Miss Hall. Ah, oh, so that means... Indeed. It means that it is possible she knew how to set off the poison gas. With this, we can expose your lies for what they are. Investigation complete! Yay! Now all that's left is to wait for the results of the teapot. To be continued! Oh shoot! Oh no! It's to be continued. On the next- No, I'm just kidding. It's not gonna happen yet! We're not there yet! April 2nd, 2.33 p.m. Zodiac Art Gallery Fountain Patio. I have a report, sir. We detected traces normally from the teapot. You can't be serious. It's just like Mr. Edgeworth said. Darn it. Did Mr. Edgeworth take the title of the best for me again? Mr. The Best, it seems like you have an obsession about being the best. But when you're on a case, winning and losing is of no importance. What are you saying? Obviously, it's the best to be the best at everything. If you can't understand that, then you have no business being a prosecutor. Oh, I... 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 Please stop harassing Sebastian. I know he's an idiot, but he doesn't deserve this. Sebastian, a person of your caliber has no need to listen to such things. What is her problem? Does she not realize this guy is a freaking idiot? Justine, y yeah, you're right. Please leave this to me. Why don't you go check on the victim's condition? Y yeah, that's a great idea. I'll be right back then. Alright, I'll be waiting. But Courtney is much more troublesome than Mr. The Best. Well then. Miss Curator, can you tell us why Normalian was discovered in the teapot? I was not aware that it contained such a chemical. I suppose it may have been an ingredient from the ingredient detergent I had used. So you're saying that you did not put it in, the del in deliberately? No, of course not. There was no way for me to have known how to create the poison gas. Objection! Despite being a former actress, it seems you're not very good at lying. What do you mean? 
The angel's recipe is in your possession. And the method to create the poison gas is contained inside that recipe book. So you must have known how to create it. I'm surprised you knew about that. Miss Curator, is this true? It's true that information about the poison gas is contained in one of the recipes. However, just because I saw it does not mean that I was responsible for the crime. Could you tell me what set off the poison gas? It was caused by the victim heating the lid of the glass case with the burner. Haha, <laughs> I see. If he locked himself in that room of his own will and then set off the poison gas, wouldn't that suggest suicide? Does she intend to deny it until the bitter end? Furthermore, I wouldn't have been able to obtain a chemical like Megatoxin X. That may be true, but you could have stolen it from someone else. Well, that reminds me, I met up with Katie a week ago and... That night was when I realized that our Megatoxin X was gone! Katie, you couldn't have! Madam Delicia always carried her medicine back around with her. Anyone could have stolen it. That's right. I don't have any proof that she was the one who stole it. Oh, come on. Common sense would dictate that it was her who did it if it disappeared at the same time you met with her. Or she met with her. Kate, can't you tell us what you're hiding? I know you're not the kind of person who would hurt someone without a reason. Monsieur Shields, you doubt me as well. Setting a trap on one of the gallery's exhibits and then disguising the rooms. I just think it would have been impossible for anyone but the curator. That's not true. That's impossible. There were no guards or security cameras in this gallery. If any ill-intentioned person wanted to sneak into the gallery... Ugh, excuse me. It would have been an easy task for them. Then... Isn't it like an all-you-can-eat steel buffet in here? You have to be careful, you never know when a great thief could appear. It doesn't sound like a joke when K sit says it. Actually, Monsieur Gustavia apparently entered the gallery before it opened. Well, I'm beat. Looks like Uncle Ray can't do anything to break down Kate's iron guard. Hmm. This might be a good time to use that technique your old man taught me. The technique my father taught you? This cape is deeply connected to one from 18 years ago. It was, if we just pursue the present case, it may seem like there is a lot we don't understand. But if we try turning things around, there might be a hint in the case from the past. Thinking the other way around. Did my father do that too? For example, Consider the relationship between the past case and Kate. Dot dot dot. This hall melted Mr. Dover's sherbet sculptures 18 years ago. Today, Mr. Dover works are on display in this gallery. It can't be. She. I see. Now I know what to ask her. Hehehe. <laughs> That's good to hear. In that case, Uncle Ray will just watch over you as you do your work. Miss Catherine Hall. 18 years ago, it seems that you melted Mr. Dover's sherbet sculptures. Yes, I was young and inexperienced. And I did something inexcusable. However, isn't that why you were able to open the Zodiac Art Gallery? I don't know what you mean. I don't understand either. Prosecutor Edgeworth, do you seek your testimony? Yes, I would like her to tell me about the Zodiac Art Gallery. I would like to know the reason you decided to open a gallery for Mr. Dover's artwork. If you insist that this is related to the case at hand, I will allow it. Miss Curator, your testimony, if you please. Very well. If that will clear your suspicions about me. Now then, please testify about the Zodiac Arts Gallery. Oh my gosh! She's gonna testify about Zodiac Art Galleries and stuff! Uh, 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 uh. 18 years after Monzi Master was arrested, I was finally able to buy back his mansion. The door to maintain it, I decided to manage it as an art gallery. I collected Pierre Hockwet's works from all over the world. 
After all, it was my dream to open the Zodiac Art Gallery. It's wonderful that your dream has come true. What do you think, Prosecutor Edgeworth? I don't believe there was anything strange about the testimony. Judge Courtney, I believe in the courtroom it is standard to cross-examine the witness. Wouldn't you agree it's a little too early to say that there are no contradictions? Mm-hmm. You speak like a defense attorney. Very well. Proceed as you please. Rebuttal, Zodiac Art Gallery. Eighteen years of Mo after Monsieur Master was arrested, I was finally able to buy me back this mansion. In the next exciting episode, we're going to see if this testimony takes a turn for the worst. Does it take a turn for the worst? I don't know. It'd be interesting to know that anyway. Hmm. End part two. Oh my gosh. Finally, we're at part two of the end. How many ends are there? I don't know. But maybe we'll find out. Maybe in the next ending episode. Maybe not. Probably not. I don't know. But we'll see. I'll see you all later, everyone. Goodbye! <laughs>